And hello again guys, my name is Revan Leek and welcome back to Dark Souls 2 Let's Play and let's continue on. Uh, first things first, what we want to do is to do finally the thing that Phantaeon has told us to do since episode 5 or something. And if you don't know who Phantaeon uh, is, um, you're watching this l at a later time or something. Um, he's just been commenting on my videos as I've been uploading them, so there's nothing really um, that's more um, that much more about it. So yeah, he mentioned this wall. Um, there is another wall that is broken by the ballista down there, but yeah, he meant this door. So we can continue on. Um, let's actually kill these guys, um, just for the sake of it. Because we kind of need it. Or don't need it, but... Oh my god, these guys are annoying. Come on then. Get owned! There you go. And here, kill this guy, or at least try to. No, I knew that was going to happen, man. All right, you come on then. Let's dance. Let us dance. Just like that. So he meant this ladder thingy. Um, he wanted us to do this beforehand. Uh, before we fought the Pursuer. But I knew that the Pursuer would uh, actually appear here first. If you went up here. I did know about that and... Oh my god. Um, we don't have any... God dang it. Um, I didn't want to do that. Um, I should have, most likely. I should have done that. Right, so there's... Apparently there's... Uh, hollows here. Being ready... For an ambush. Very, very, um, not hiding at all, I guess. There you go. But yeah, this is basically what, where people tend to hold a lot of, um, PvP action. And there's the Esther Flash shot that we came in here for. And yeah, PvP is very, um, prominent in this area and especially if people hold something like um, um, fight clubs and such and tournaments that is very um, um, um sorry I'm saying um a lot but I'm really trying to <laughs> come up with some sentences that make actually some sense at least but yeah um, now we can continue on tr towards um, a new area. Actually, I will take a sip of my tea. God dang it, this tea is delicious. Yum. Alright. So we upgraded our weapon to plus two, I believe. And... We don't have the flame, uh, pyromancy flame yet, but we are planning on getting that as soon as possible. And the way that we achieve that is... We have actually gotten that. Um, we do have the house key, so this is something we want to do currently. So we go in here, this is the house key, or this uses the house key. And in here I believe these are the Lloyd talismans. Pharaoh's Lockstone. Alright, so we got one Pharaoh's Lockstone from that. And I believe we get some Titanite Shards. 
from up here. I believe so. From this chest here. Tartar chart and a couple of torches. Nothing too fancy. Um, those are pigs. Um, we wouldn't... Mm, um, shouldn't have aggroed them actually. We shouldn't have done that because now they will aggro us indifferently. And hopefully we'll be able to handle them because they are for pigs. They are very, very um, strong indeed. So yeah, here's the map of the Trang Lake. Um, it doesn't make much sense, but you can see that this is... Um, the first flame that appeared was the last giant, when we killed the last giant. That is the boss fight, so this flame appeared here. And if we would have come here right after that, um, the archaeologist uh, would have been here. But indeed, he is no longer here. And if you go here right now, you are able to... Um, get through this area quite easily. Get the human effigy. Um, again, this is doing the same thing. God dang it. We need to do this again. Put this to off. So it's not doing it. And then key bindings. Put it to on again. Yes. So now it's working, all right. As a flash shard, that's good. Now we have two of them. And then there is a chest over here. Soul vessel. Soul vessels actually give you a chance to level up again. So if you put some wrong stats somewhere or you want to change your stat layout or what stats you have, you can change that we are the soul vessel. You just need to go back to the uh, things between um, where the ladies are, or the old firekeepers, old ladies with the red ropes. Go there and you can level up again or uh, reassign your stats. Is that a shard? Yes, it is a shard. We found upgrade. Yes, we can upgrade once more. Upgrade, yes. There we go. As a flash out, strengthened. Alright, we don't have any more. Let's leave. And what I do want to show you guys actually is the new items that we have. One of them being the soul vessel. A vessel that will accept your souls. It can allow reallocation of levels, but without proper assistance it may simply drain you of souls. If you truly wish to start again, go to the place where the journey began. Very interesting. Um, then we got the prism stones from the um, Pyramasa. There is nothing really. Emits beautiful facing aura of seven colors with very rare eighth. Um, yeah, it's nothing special like it says, but what we do want to check out is the Grand Lance for one, a lance fashioned from rare gay steel. That sounds fancy. <laughs> gay steel. All right. Um, designed for high-ranking Trang Lake knights, hence the de decorative design. Gay steel. Equipment is of the finest make, but gay steel is so rare that very few of these weapons were actually used in combat. Interesting. And then we got the Tranglake Sword. Great Sword of Drummond, a royal army captain. So here we can already see that this is very lore heavy um, weapon. An old and un unadorned sword perhaps, but the pride and joy of this ven venerable captain. Alright, I hope that made any sense, but yeah. 
An old and undoored sword, perhaps, but the pride and joy of this venerable captain. An heirloom passed from granddaughter to father, grandfather to father, and then from father to son. Drummond and those before him used this sword to repel those who would threaten their great land. Very interesting. Um, in my opinion, I believe this is um, further explained even more in later game who this um, Drummond is, I believe so. I believe it to be so. Let's check here. Um, we got the Drang Lake armor. Traditional Trang Lake armor belonged to Captain Drummond. Drummond's ancestors have served Trang Lake for generations, uh, principally as defenders of the Great Fort, but Captain Drummond is the last in his proud line. Interesting. I believe all of these have the same, yeah. Same description. Also, we got this from the Pursuer boss fight. Ring of Blades. The Ring of Blades is modeled after the Mad King of Mad King of Alken's weapon of choice. Increased physical attacks. The Kingdom of Alken and Ven long ago flourished on these very crowns. They were both founded by the same man, but were reduced to revelry and spite. This is very interesting. Um, the kingdoms of Alken and Ven. This is further uh, um, developed into uh, in later game as well. We will go into it later, but for now um, we can just equip it. Um, I will most likely do this just in case. Uh, let's see what the Ring of Restoration says. Ring of Restoration, a protective ring passed down in House Osteria, gradually restores a HP. In the sacred land of Lindeld, this ring symbolizes prosperity and long longevity, long longevity for the great House Osteria. But the ring is fragile and breaks easily, as if it hates being taken for granted. Um, yeah, there's nothing else in here but yeah there's also like house osteria what is that and what's lindled um, i cannot answer all of these um of course but hopefully eventually when when we get uh, further into the game i can connect things far better but yeah for now we can go what what is actually happening Oh, all right. Hey, oh, sorry. Nothing's wrong. I just wondered why I wasn't recording audio, but I actually was. And yeah, it's just the timeline was so small. I didn't see it. All right. So down here to the right, to the right, to the left, and to the right. Um, we actually got the uh, Crimson Parma here that I showed on the maybe the third episode or something. So we can continue on this direction now. There are other directions like I showed after the preserve fight. We could have gone into that direction without worry really. Um, there would have been another Estus flask quite uh, near there. Broken Thief's sword. Let's see. Does that have anything interesting to it? Here you go. A broken straight sword handled as a dagger due to its length. This inexpensive sword is terribly worn, but nevertheless a favorite amongst thieves. I do really... Um, I'm, um, I'm waiting, waiting for the time for Dark Souls 3, because... Um, the thief class or ranger class or whatever rogue class you want to say it is it looks so dang good finally a class or type of a gameplay that you can actually like 
really invest into. Alright, so here's new enemies. These guys. They're slow. Quite easy to kill. Um, you might want to use mace against these guys. Uh, far easier that way. With the mace it only takes oh, like one or two hits. Here's a bonfire that we can lit, but we won't sit on it because it will, of course, it will respawn all the enemies that we've killed. You can see these hide knights over here. So this is the, um, uh, is it hide tower of flame? Hide tower of flame or something like that? We already, like, arrived here and I didn't read, read what it was, but something like that. Hide tower. Um, so these are the Hide Knights, um, they are passive currently, and eventually they will aggro. This guy is strong. Or stronger than the other one, of course, because he has a huge mace. It's clearly a indicator that this is a stronger stronger version <laughs> that makes actually no sense overall but yeah some souls and human effigy but this guy again it only takes like four hits for us to kill this guy but yeah you you do get quite a knockback from these guys so be, do be careful. Because uh, this area is very much designed... Lloyd's Talisman. De designed for you to be careful about the um, um, layout. Because, you know, there's no railings any anywhere and you might fall down and the pushback is really high. Um, I do know that you can kill, um, well, I will kind of spoil this, but whatever. Um, there is a boss fight in that area where you can see the little platform. Um, I do know that you can kill the boss fight very easily without actually raising the other um, platforms. But since this, a, this is a let's play uh, rather than a speed run, I will actually raise all of the platforms. But I will still tell you guys if you don't know, um, this is very speedrun like tactic. But basically, what you want to do is not raise any of the platforms, go into the fight, count six of his steps. Like when he steps once and twice and third time and fourth time, once he is on his sixth step, step run past the little uh you need to kind of corner uh, well let's say the, let's say like you start here right now and he's coming towards you so you just pass the fog wall and you're here and he's coming at you six steps and you need to kind of um go next to the corner that has like a uh, ledge that he will fall into basically what you want to do is he will do he will do uh, his uh, charge attack so just go past that ledge a little bit and he will charge into the um, void I'm not sure if I explained that at all like well at all but um, I tried my best so over here I'm not currently completely sure as to how this oh this goes like this all right so those guys are totally passive until you kill this guy until you kill that guy this and that dude over there will actually aggro but the other one won't come over here so you can just get over here instead And kill this dude. 
There you go. Easy enough. And hopefully we'll be able to do this as well. Just be careful for that backswing or that roundhouse swing. It can hit you even if you're like, if you're off-centered from behind him. Or a little bit um, off-centered. Pale stone. So here's the other lever that you want to um, open. Or lever. And it will open the or rise the platform over there. We will actually go down here, but we won't go fight against the boss fight. And there's a very good reason for that. Uh, but we are closing in on the episode's uh, ending. But I will try and kill this dude. Kill it! There you go. Not very hard, just circle around them. I think there will be an invasion in here. Perhaps not. This could be actually like a NPC uh, summon that you can do. I'm not completely sure. But yeah, these height knights are actually guarding like a chest. You cannot open the chest until you get those guys to move some way. Uh, either you aggro them by hitting them. Or you go to that boss fight and they will all aggro or start to move around the city. Of the broken city, I should say. And, um, yeah. I didn't actually know that that guy was aggroing. That's interesting. I did not know that, but it's fine. With these two, you can just, again, go back here. And only the Hide Knight will come you but these guys are very hard to fight against what you want to do most of the time is not backstab them that's for sure you don't want that because uh, they can on um, they can kind of spin around you and God dang it. Do a number on you. I need that third hit. Or three hit combo. Oh my god. We are about to die here. Good. Some health back. Just die. Alright. So. God dang it. We don't have any soul gems. That's the issue we are having currently. Actually we do have soul gems. I just don't have them in equip. Like normally I don't have anything equip. Alright. So the reason why I'm doing this. This route. Um. Um, is only because uh, those height knights will start to aggro and it's not fun after that to try and get around this whole area. Crack, blue or red eye orb. And I believe that guy will also aggro. But what you want to do here is this episode will be a little bit longer than normally, uh, for sure. So, you can take the short bow, or we cannot use it effectively with one hand at least. And then, if you have any arrows, equip those. And put a parma here just in case. 
and then and then then we shoot this guy He has a very nice spear, but he is one of those um, height knights that you can actually backstab quite easily. Um, he doesn't do a similar uh, spin attack move like the sword height knights do. But he is also quite easier to fight against. Alright, hopefully we'll be able to actually do this, because fighting against that dragon is um, quite a chore. Um, um, let's equip a mace. If we have any, we cannot use that. Don't we have any maces? Alright, let's just use that one instead. And... I think we are fine. Um, yep, we are fine. So what you want to do is put on some magic. There's a dragon. You know what's coming. Run, 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 run as fast as possible. You can see he's waking up. Run, run, run. Oh my god. Just make sure you kill him before he jumps. There you go. Man, that was quite hectic. Watch Dragon Parma, Petrified Dragon Bone. But also, you can most likely now. Not completely sure. Alright, nothing too fancy happens. That's good. But here is a lever. I will actually go get that item over there. But since we have killed this dragon, I'm not going to go to the boss fight just yet. Um, I just wanted to open this breach first. All trade in life gems and a chest that has something interesting inside. Human effigy is 5, so that chest is indeed in here now. Alright. So let's go get that last item and we will go back to the bonfire. Uh, also, maybe go level up because we have 9000 souls. We might as well. And yeah. I do hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. Um, well, I'm not gonna just yet end it. Let's just take this item over here. Divine Blessing. Um, next boss we will go and fight is over there. Um, the reason why I'm doing it is, as I said before, simple reasons. If you go and fight the Dragon Rider instead, you will aggro all of the Height Knights and getting from the bonfire to, um, to over there and also try and open that bridge at the same time is annoying as hell. So this is one of the things that I did love about Skull of the First Sin, that they changed that aspect. That you need to uh, kind of consider, do I go there now first, or do I do the original route that was to kill the Dragon Rider first. Alright, so that's that. Let's travel to Machula. We do have some items that we want to um, read the descriptions about, but for now... I will say farewell to all of you and we will see you guys on the next one. If you liked the video hit that like button if you didn't you know what to do. And if you feel like these videos are worth it please do subscribe. 
And other than that, um, I do ho hope all of you a very, very good rest of the day or night. And um, we will see you guys on the next episode. Bye-bye.